Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're playing Legendary Iron Man difficulty run of the better one version of this mod. It is part number two of our HQ assault and uh, the first one, or the first part, was basically us rushing over 18 enemies, pretty much decimating them. Our team has done very, very well, but we've also used a few resources. So we're jumping right back into the action. We know there's a Chosen out there. The Warlock is going to fight against us, but we are not going to back up. Not an inch. Well, let's put everyone on high uh, high ground here. Back in business. I like the idea that uh, we can actually position everyone on top of this roof. Got it. It's a bit dangerous in terms of grenades, but I haven't seen any of the enemies using grenades Roger in that. their round yet as a kind of retaliation. Uh, so I'm simply hoping that that's not going to be the case for us. Yeah, we're going to stay here for now. Good, time to overwatch, really. Reload if possible and steady the weapon. So that whatever is going to happen, we would be ready next turn. Good. Idea is, we're going to take uh, this tower here as another means of high ground. So basically one of the snipers is going to grapple down. And the other one is simply going to stay up here. That should work reasonably well. Good, let's scout out and see what we're up against. Nothing so far. These are ex uh, explosive crates, gotta be a bit careful. Next turn we got run and gun. So we can still wait for the cooldowns really to reset a bit. No need to rush too much. Wreck time. And... Our Grenadier Blaze are going to move down because we need them for cover removal. I would like to put Puppy into that tower over there. So I'm going to move him as well. Quick Feet's being positioned over here. I think the rest is positioned quite well. Steadying our weapons. Not yet. We're not grappling yet. One more round. And then the run gun cooldown is back, which is a good moment to start an engagement. Oh yeah, plus the Warlock is going to summon uh, his zombies now. How could I have forgotten about that? Yeah, if we're... Hitting them halfway decent, none of them should survive. But as always, we're not hitting them halfway decent, so of course they're going to survive. For the elders' blessings. 
It would be funny if it wouldn't be so sad how bad the Overwatch is. Yep. Gonna need to reload soon. So, let's grapple into this tower. We're moving into full cover and steadying the weapon. Good shit. Good position. I like it. We're not going to explore really far. I'd like to keep things where they are. Got it Rock and roll. Putting our frontline soldiers into full cover. It might look a little bit funny while playing that carefully, but it's very easy to get am uh, ambushed and I really want to save our resources and not uh, need to pull more cooldowns just because we're being flanked from the side. All right, nothing happened. Time to move on. Moving into full cover. Well, that triggers a tower. Fair enough. Which would be officially enemy number 19. Quite a few towers around. Good. We're moving first, and then we're going to act. Heading out. Aye, aye. Putting our front line further together. Just want to make sure we're not going to uh, we're not going to miss another pack or accidentally stumble into it. And this here should be a kill. Well, the answer is no, it's not. All right, we got Shredder. So we're starting to shred it and let's finish it. Of course, minimum damage. Okay, I'll go. Moving down, we need to reposition anyways. The tower itself is too far away from the front line. Steadying our weapon, carefully moving over, still fearing that we're going to be flanked from this side over here. Continue Overwatch. Moving a bit further.
Good, one more round until or getting new zombies. Spectral zombies, that is. But so far everything has worked very well. Probably need to uh, decluster uh, this pack here. But there are several, uh, several options here, 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 here. So really solid um, cover is available. Starting to scout. Again, nothing interesting. This here is a false friend, by the way. That's no cover, although it suggests that it might be cover. Gotta be very careful up here. Good, we're moving over here. Mostly half cover, sometimes full cover. We're reloading. I want to make sure that we're that we're good to go. Lots of overwatches here. We're reloading. Still waiting for a really nice kill zone. Maybe we're proactively using it next turn. Could imagine that we would have really awesome angles from where we're standing. Like if we were to run into a pack, that would be kind of back here, and we're starting with a kill zone, that would be incredible. But of course we're going to be flanked from exactly this, the opening that I didn't want to happen. Had another pack. Okay. <laughs> All right. There's another pack back here. Two centurions and something down here. There is uh, two further packs back here. So you gotta be careful. One zombie? Oh, oh, okay. I was like, what? One zombie? Hmm. All right, so we know we got one, two Centurions, third one over here. There's a pack over here. We need to be very careful. And we got a full fledged pack back down here. Let's start with the snipers and take a look whom we can and cannot see. Definitely a couple of interesting options. Okay. So I mean we ca we we definitely could go over up here just drop a grenade down there. I 
at the very same time, Mike could go to here, essentially flanking this guy and killing him. How many more grenades do we have left over? Yeah, the alternative is to position ourselves up here, but nah, that's difficult. If he would, if he was to go up here, might be able to take a long shot. Same. If he takes a move all the way up to here, he could take a shot into open uh, cover. So safest bet is probably to go down here. and deal with them one at a time. Okay, what we could do is... get rid of the cover. Uh, really soften them up a little bit. That's an option. I think we're going to do that. Take this. Didn't remove the cover, but at least removed the armor and essentially set them up for a bit more. Yeah, we're going to kill this guy here. Taking care of. Nice little shot. Theoretically could help killing the zombies if we need to. Moving down again into full cover. I think our position is really solid. Uh, only 50 50, 60. Uh, he's too close, that's the problem. The weapon has a weapon range penalty. But his bushwhacker knife with 2 to 4 damage, hmm, not really cutting it either. I would like to deal with the shield bearer here. He's annoying and will help to create a lot of extra help. The purifier is actually a non-threat because he cannot hurt us. So let's deal with the zombies first. Confirmed. Moving over here. Not sure if the Centurion is going uh, to be able to reach us, but I'd like to kill this guy here. Unfortunately, a miss. Good, we got both of them down, which is perfect. Again, we got run and gun. I would love to use it, but it is a dangerous, very dangerous proposition. Just barely can't reach these guys here, which is an absolute shame. We're still trying to buff everyone with get some, at least the ones in range. Uh, 
nice little critical uh, critical strike bonus. Yeah, we're going to take a single shot here. Now it's at 70%. I want to make sure that we at least hurt him. Minimum damage, no, no crit. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Moving into a flanking position. Let's get this Advent Officer down. Good PCS, advanced speed is very decent. Good. That's probably not a kill. Oh, it procs death from above. It is a kill. Good job, man. In which case, I would rather steady the weapon than take the extra shot. Moving over here. It's killing time. Reload. And there's a mutant centurion just waiting for us. So we're fortifying. And let's see if we can maybe stun him. That seemed to miss. Yeah, we're immune to the uh, purifier, so that's not a big deal at all. Now let's see what the... Oh, shit. Was that a miss? Oh no, we got a parry. Yes! Combatant is the, the best. It's just such a good talent. Overwatching, Warcry, Suppression. And yeah, they don't really know what to do either. Because we have a strong position. Yep, I like the full the full um, cover. Alright, got two options here. Let's start with the chrysalid, come on, baby. Was that a kill? Ooh, down to one HP, all right. Fair enough. Time for some knife action. Well, those guys are definitely an issue. So how do, we, how do we want to deal with them? I mean, there is an easy solution to the problem. It's called run and gun. Don't even need run and gun. We could, might as well just go here. It's probably not even triggering a pack. Why am I taunting the game? Why am I taunting the game? This is probably not even going to trigger a pack. You're wrong. Time to play this here a little bit more aggressive. We're repositioning. Hello. No, we're not going to go for the purifier. I think we're dealing with a viper first. Matter of fact, wouldn't that be a perfect option for for kill zone? <laughs> I think so. 
All right, we could give ourselves. Um, we could give ourselves an A protocol, or we're moving simply to here. It's a chance of hitting them. Mm -hmm. So and so. I don't like that. I don't like it. Let's reload. And move up. It's not going to trigger Overwatch. That's a 50 50. So, first and foremost, we're fortifying. If we were to hit the shot, he would be in kill range. The other alternative is simply to use the flashbang grenade and make both of them suffer. Can we make both of them suffer? No. No, we can't we can't hit both of them. Let's try to get him down. All right, I do have an idea how we can kill this guy. But first, let's go and kill him. Come on. Negative damage. That's not good. We are going to give an aid protocol over. He cannot be flanked other by than by the Viper. In the Viper will be dead very soon. Should have used my other get some. Good, we're taking the kill zone like I initially suggested it. Wait a second, what's the Viper? Is it one with the serpent did it have uh, that's a good question i don't know if it had overwatch and that would suck majorly so we're not going to take the um lightning reflexes we need to kill the viper so we're continuing to steady the weapon This could be a kill. Yep. That takes care of the purifier. It's probably triggering Overwatch, not sure. No, it isn't. So they don't have a real good target at the moment. I wanted to go all the way up to here and essentially let Bladestorm deal with him. Problem is, this guy can move in and and essentially kill me. Getting that Centurion down though would be very helpful. And we got impact fields, so even if he takes a shot at us, it shouldn't be that 
harmful. But the problem is he also has an overwatch, which kind of stinks. We're just going to go to here and are overwatching ourselves. Ah, they don't know that we're here, so might as well keep it that way. Or alternatively, move up here, which isn't bad either, so if either of them wants to come up stairs they would take an overwatch attack plus we do uh, they would take a blade storm attack plus we do have the ability to retal retaliate so they can't just use their melee attack to to hit us that position here is a pretty decent gatekeeper for them to not just rush in Yeah, we do got a mind shield, bro, but thanks for trying. Good job, he ran directly into our overwatch trap. Alright, so far so good. We got minimal damage. And the battle is turning very much in our favor. Time to kill this guy, finally. <laughs> so satisfying. All right, great. Work like a charm and we're going to use our melee attack. So that leaves only one of the sectors alive. Big deal. Nicely done, we're setting our weapon. How about we're preparing for some more zombies that are going to be summoned. Deploying grapple. So we're playing with the high ground on the left hand side is what I've decided. How is that even possible? No line of sight whatsoever beforehand. <laughs> okay. I knew there was a pack, but... I was honestly not expecting them to be in the absolute only spot where they would hide from our, from our vision. Should have expected it, though. Move it up. We still got the better positions. And if I can start messing up the Spectre, 
We should be fine. Got an overwatch back here. Let's open the door. We're going to Overwatch. And we're continuing Overwatch as well over here for the potential zombies that are going to be summoned. The Spectre will most likely try to do Shadowbound form. Unfortunately, it has Lightning Reflexes, so. It moving first kind of negates our overwatch. Yeah, that's not a problem at all. Matter of fact, probably one of the worst um, persons that he could have taken for the Shadowbound. Okay, all right. So now we got a few more Spectre Zombies on the way. By the way, what's the overall count so far? We were at 18 when we started. What were the packs that we triggered? Um, good question. So we had the tower plus... Hmm, the tower plus... Oh yeah, the pack of four that ambushed us from the side, the advents. So that's five, which means 23. Then we had the Viper, um, plus two sectors, so that's 26. Then we have this pack here, which is 29. Yeah, sounds about right. Game starting to lag just a tiny bit. No, we're going to deal with him in a second. Let's first of all get rid of this guy here. Well, that did not work as I would have expected it to work. Let's see, so we got a couple of good targets. Might as well single kill the sector down here. Ah, not what I was expecting either. I wanted to kill him and then use the pistol shot in order to finish off this guy. How annoying. Oh, we can only see... Oh my god. 
I have played that so incredibly bad. <laughs> oh my god, I'm ashamed. Should have played it very, very differently. Yeah, I can't guarantee that that's going to be a kill. So let's start with making sure that the spectral rupture will not interrupt us. One down. Thousands to go. Could have definitely used his firepower somewhere else. Really, really bad uh, combination of poor choices and absolute minimum damage. Might as well will lead to the fact that we can't kill all of the guys here. Alright, I gotta take this one here. Although it would have probably been the better idea uh, to stand in the middle of both of uh, the zombies to use Bladestorm. All right, running and gunning. Will do. Bit of a waste, if you ask me. On our Good. Definitely not my best round. But there was also a bit of um, a bit of unluck. Missed a couple of shots. Uh, the way that I planned it out didn't work, and we then kind of salvaged the situation. Luckily, we're not necessarily affected much by their abilities. We can easily kill this guy downstairs. But the zombie will probably deal damage. Unless he's running right into Bladestorm. Oh my gosh, and then the Bladestorm grazing hits. <laughs> That's so bad. No, we're not going to attack him. We are making sure that the mind control is being ignored. Good. That takes care of the mind control. And let's move away from the spectral zombie. We really don't want any situation where we're taking additional damage. It's bad enough that our shinobi has taken some damage. Oh 
There we go. Perfect. Unfortunately, not a kill, but pretty close. Let's see how Divert is going to deal with it. Very nice. Good. So I think if I'm not, if I haven't miscounted, we are at 26, 28 enemies. course excluding the warlock who was not part of the mission briefing anyways and we're having again a solid position on high ground Gosh, the mission is a bit harder than I would have expected, but so far it's running very smooth. I was literally expecting less resistance. I'm not sure what it is, maybe it's the Warlock. Good, looking at that timer and kind of feeling how far we are in the mission. Unfortunately, this was a kind of a long drawn out ambush uh, type of episode. And we've killed a few aliens, like 10, 12, um, plus, uh, f yeah, changed the position quite a bit. But overall, we're making our way towards the edge here, which um, I think either in this building or this building, we're going to see the last um, enemy. The Warlock is probably in this building, so might as well make our way all the way there. Um, I'll cut it short and end the episode here. As always, if you enjoy what you've seen, um, consider supporting the channel a little bit and leave a comment and a like down below. Uh, that would be very helpful. See you in hopefully the last episode uh, of uh, this um, HQ assault where we're um, fighting against the warlock and maybe another 50 hit points um, uh, yeah boss enemy at the same time which is going to be wonderful I'm already looking forward for it um, yeah see you uh, see you then and take good care bye bye